Hi everybody, my name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR format. So if you like perfume and if you like ASMR, you are in the right place. Okay, and today I'm doing something a little different, but I've done it a lot before. I'm doing a review of, um, it's not technically samples because these are actually minis. This is, it's called Estee Lauder Small Wonders. I think it's just called the Estee Lauder Luxury Line, Luxury Fragrance Line, Luxury Collection, I think is what it's called. I don't know if it's called, I think it's only called Small Wonders because this is a set of the minis, but they're super cute. They're, I think, four milliliters each, and uh, they, yeah, four milliliters each, and they have sprays in them, so that's super exciting. Love a good sprayer. Love a good mini sprayer. So, yeah, so I'm going to go through these. I have only smelled one of these. I actually did a review on it on my channel. It was one of the first reviews that I did, so it was a while ago, back in maybe November, um, 2022. 2022. Um, but it's Tender Light. That's the one that I had smelled, Tender Light. So I'll go over that one again because it's in here, but I've got eight total and so seven fragrances that I've never smelled. So I'm really excited. Um, I just am wearing what I was wearing today, but I kind of feel like this is actually unintentionally a good um, outfit because most of these are sort of named and themed around celestial bodies, celestial themes like tender light, sensuous stars, dream, dusk, etc. So they're all kind of um, like celestial heavenly themed and um, I'm wearing this dark blue and kind of like very natural um, design. And I've got my blue nails on still. I've got these these dark blue um, earrings. I'm like, what are these called? I don't remember. I don't remember what the stone is, but anyway, um, so I feel like today I was kind of dressed on theme anyway for this set. All right, so I'm super excited and like I always try to do with these sample vids is just blind smell them as in smell them without looking at the notes first and then tell you what I think I'm smelling and then go through the notes and see how close I am. So I'm excited to do that. I just got some kind of basic paper, um, little strips that I'll be spraying on, but like I got them, I cut them from this notepad, which I think is so funny. Everything is fine. And it's this guy who's like totally strung out on coffee and stressed with a stack of papers at his desk. This is like so, so funny. Um, anyway, so yeah. One of these days I want to do like a writing, another writing scribbling video. I really like that's one of my favorite ASMR sounds. Somebody like writing with pen, ballpoint pen. All right, so let's go ahead and open this. As you can see, that part comes off. As you can see, it's just eight of these little minis, and they are exact exact replicas of the full-sized bottle. So super cute. They they all spray. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in order. The first one is Tender Light, and this is the one that, like I said, I have smelled before. So I do, I am familiar with what it smells like, but it's been a little bit. I'm curious if I feel any differently towards it now than I did when I first smelled it. So Tender Light. Really nice name. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a spray. I already could smell it just from the... Um, but yeah, this one I think was really simple. It just had three notes um, like iris and some sort of citrus and sort of flower. Okay, I'm looking out for Grantica. Oh yeah, Chinese tea. It's so like some sort of green tea or maybe black tea. Bergamot, and then the Tuscan Iris. Mm -hmm. This is really pretty. Um, it yeah, you do get all three of those. You get Iris um, tea. You definitely get a tea note, and there's a citrusy bergamot note. But the thing that kind of put me off a little from this one when I smelled it last was that. It was just a little too sweet for, for me, and I don't know where that sweetness is coming from. I'm guessing it's like not natural, it's like synthetic, but I mean, tea, bergamot, and iris should not be this sweet at all. I'm not saying this is like uber, uber sweet, it's definitely not uber sweet, but um, it's not. I mean, tea is bitter, tea is bitter, and iris is not that sweet, and bergamot is not that sweet. So, I might give this another go and wear it again. It's really nice. It is really beautiful. It's extremely calming. It's very calming. It is very tender. So, I might give this another go and wear it again and just see if I like it. So, anyway, that is Tender Light. Okay. So, this one... This next one is called Sensuous Stars. I have no idea what it, what notes are in it, what it smells like, but we'll give it a spray. I'm guessing something kind of soft and maybe a little darker. Um, stars is night, and that makes me think of nighttime and. A, thinking of a nighttime fragrance, like I'm just gonna guess maybe patchouli, amber, I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I feel like... Hmm. I feel like this has something fruity, like maybe plum. Kind of syrupy fruity. And then it's definitely got some dark, heavy notes to it. Like, I would almost say it's kind of almost like plum and leather. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting leather. Yeah, like plum and leather. That's like mostly what I feel. Maybe iris again. I feel like there might be some iris again. It's like a powdery plum leather. Okay, let's look at the notes. Um, and maybe kind of ambery. Okay, sensuous stars. Okay, um, so, oh, okay, we have Chinese plum, we have oris, which is iris, um, iris root, and then lavender. So, this is like all purple. This is like a totally purple, um, fragrance because we got the plum, lavender, and then iris flower is purple. And interestingly enough, as it dry, the there was like a leathery nuance when I sprayed it. It's not there so much now. It's more so plum and uh, plum and orris. I'm not really getting. I'm not really getting the lavender as much. I'm getting more so the plum and the orris. But it's like very smooth, calming, but kind of sensual. I'm definitely gonna give this one a wear. 
I just want to like it, even if I won't actually like it on my skin and clothes, but I want to like it. Um, I feel like all of these fragrances might just have three notes. I mean, because these first two just have three notes. So I'm thinking maybe they'll just be really simple, all of them, three notes, but yeah. Okay, so that is Sensuous Stars, and it is indeed... Um, the liquid on this bottle is purple. You definitely cannot tell, but on the big bottle, it's like a white purple, and you can tell. Okay, so this is our next one, and it is called Dream Dusk. So, Dream Dusk, I'm guessing this one is going to, again, be a little darker, heavy, smooth, I don't know. Maybe kind of like what I guessed on the last one. Maybe like some amber or something. Um, yeah. Let's give it a spray. Alright. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so this is very subtle. It's not strong, it's subtle, and it's subtly warm. I feel like I might be getting something citrusy, but it's nothing bright. It might be a floral also. It's either like, I think a floral or citrus, but it's not bright. It's very soft. Maybe a touch of vanillic, I don't know. It's like very soft, like powdery. This is lovely. I really like this. Let's go ahead and look at the notes. Okay, so we have... Yeah, just three notes again. Okay, we have cherry blossom, black currant blossom, and geranium. So all florals. Just like some very soft kind of pink florals. I mean, I don't know what black currant blossom, what color that is, but... Yeah, um, okay, now that I know the cherry blossom, I think I'm getting that more than anything. It's very soft, it's a very muted scent, but I am getting cherry blossom, and I don't know what black currant blossom smells like. I think I'm getting a touch of geranium, so just a very pleasant, delicate, very delicate floral. But not floral floral. Like, this would be great floral for people who maybe don't like florals a whole lot. Yeah. Okay, so that is Dream Desk. Alright, moving right along to our fourth. This is called Radiant Mirage. Radiant Mirage. So, I'm guessing this is going to be like maybe brighter, maybe citrus and floral or something. No idea. Totally just guessing based on the words. Um, oops. These are so small. Four ounces is just like a few testers worth. Because a lot of testers come in, some come in the like, the sprays usually come anywhere from like 1.2 to 2, so this is just like two or so testers, it's not very much. Okay, so, hmm, okay, I'm getting something ambery, it's a little bit warm and spicy, there might be a citrus as well, citrus note. Yeah, mostly just something ambery, I would say. And kind of warm, spicy, ambery. Okay, so looking at the notes, we have. Okay, we have jasmine, uh, jasmine sandback, sandalwood, and patchouli. Okay, I guess I guessed wrong on that. But I think the patchouli is what's kind of giving the warm spiciness along with the sandalwood. And. It has almost like a touch of greenness to it. 
Um, the jasmine is very subtle. I'm getting, I would say, more so the sandalwood and patchouli. Mostly patchouli. I'm actually going to really enjoy testing this one out because I have been on the hunt for more patchouli fragrances. It's a note that I really like and this is a very beautiful patchouli and yeah, so I'm gonna really enjoy testing this one out. Mm, I really like this one. I need to think about which ones are my favorite. Okay, so that is Radiant Mirage. This one might be my favorite so far. I don't know. I do really like the tender light now that I smell it again. It's very beautiful. I really do like it. Um, but anyway, I'll try and tell you at the end of this, like, maybe my top three. Okay, so, moving on. We are on this one. And this one is called Desert Eden. Desert Eden. Guessing this might smell a bit spicy, dry, maybe woody, but Eden makes it sound like sort of a um, oasis, so maybe it's like a little bit fresher, something like a breath of fresh air in the desert. I don't know. Let's find out. All right. So. Okay. Yes, it's warm. There's definitely. A spicy note in here. I'm thinking either this kind of smells like cinnamon, maybe like cinnamon or cloves. If there's something that is kind of like woody, I'm thinking either cedar or sandalwood, or maybe even oud, but probably cedar or sandalwood. There might be a floral, but it's not floral dominant. Yeah, so I'm getting like spicy, woody. Okay, let's look at the notes. Okay, so we have sandalwood. That's actually the top note, which is kind of odd. Usually you see that in the base, but sandalwood is our top note. Turkish rose in the mid, so we do have rose, and I'm probably going to get that more as this continues to dry down. Yeah, already I'm getting a little bit more sweetness from the rose. And then we have oibanum, which is what's giving that, like, spicy, resiny warmth to it. So sandalwood, rose, and oibanum. Yeah, definitely a lot of the oibanum, which I don't even, I'm not super familiar with that. So I'm going to read a description, what it says it smells like on Fragrantica. It says... Oh, it's frankincense. I didn't even know that. Um, but anyway, it says a fresh balsamic, somewhat green, woody, and spicy fragrance with a fruity top note. I know what frankincense smells like because I have the essential oil. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, anyway, this is nice. It's not something I would ever wear. This, these sorts of fragrances are way too much for me. Um, that's just my personal style. I like to wear things that are very light, not bold, not heavy, um, not, yeah, just subtle, soft things I like to wear. So, nice fragrance, not something I would wear, um, but maybe something that you would like. So that is Desert Eden. Oh my gosh, I'm cold, and so my ring, like whenever I'm cold, my ring just like falls off because uh, my fingers are more slender when it's cold when I'm cold. I am cold here. I had to turn on the heat. It's summer and so we turned off the heat a few days ago but then it's been raining here and so I turned back on the heat. I just get cold so easily so we turned the heat back on. I mean I turned the heat back on and my fiance laughed at me but he doesn't want me to be cold. Okay. So, we are on to this one, and this one is called Blushing Sand. 
Sands. I think that's such a cute name. Blushing Sands. So, I'm really excited to see what this one smells like. I keep spraying it on my hand. My hand is going to smell like a mix of all of these. But that's okay. Alright. Okay. This has a bit of a dryness to it. It's like very woody, dry woody, almost incensey, like either an almost incensey dry type of wood or actual incense. Hmm, it's, it does smell kind of like an incense. It smells like a, like a sort of almost exotic aromatic wood, like, I don't know, something like Palo Santo or something in that realm. Wow, it was very pretty. It's something I might even consider wearing because it's it's like f a little bit fresh enough and it's not too bold and it's too like intense and spicy or anything. It's almost like a cool tone wood if that makes any sense. There might be an aromatic herb that's giving it that quality as well like sage or something. Okay, yeah, I feel like there might be an herb in here. So, let's see what it says. Okay. So, we have Haitian vetiver. Pink, that makes sense. Pink pepper and musk. Okay, so yeah, it is it is musky. It's dry and the yeah, vetiver gives it completely, like I was saying, like an aromatic woodiness. It's not like a yeah, it's it's kind of like a airy wood, and the pink pepper. Honestly, like I'm not getting a whole lot of that. I'm definitely getting vetiver and musk predominantly. This is nice. I will try giving this one a wear. Yeah, it's nice. It almost comes through a little bit cedary to me. Um, yeah, so. Alright, so that is Blushing Sands. Okay, we are down to our last two. Alright, so this one is called Paradise Moon. Paradise Moon. So I'm guessing this might be maybe a little bit dark, but not too dark, because moon to me, moonlight is very soft and not too bold. So maybe like kind of smooth dark qualities. Okay. So, this is very sweet. To be honest, I don't know that I like it. I don't really say that very often about fragrances, but... I think it has a almost honey-like quality. Maybe it's fig? Maybe it's like... It almost feels like a fig drenched in honey. I don't know. It just... I feel like there might be a fruit in this, maybe like even like a date or something, but, and probably a floral, like maybe rose, but I just, I just feel like it's not, it's not mixing well to my nose, I don't know why, it just kind of feels kind of muddled, um, I have no idea what's in here, um, let's find out. Okay, so this one is, okay, this one is Osmanthus, Labdanum, and Leather. That makes sense why I'm not a big fan, because honestly, a leather, uh, 
weather is not something I tend to like unless it's very light, maybe suede Um, and then osmanthus is, I find to be like very sweet and almost kind of smells like sweet tarts or candy sometimes when I smell it. And labdanum is like ambery, almost like deep, deep kind of ambery, vanillic, and I think it's all mixing together to smell almost like honey because it's like sweet, but the leather is like animalic, kind of like honey. It really does smell like honey to me. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm personally not gonna wear this one. I think all these other ones I might I think all of these other ones so far I might try out. Oh, except for the, what was it? I think it was the Desert Eden was the one that was like super spicy. Yeah. So this and the Desert Eden, I'm so far, I'm not going to even wear them because I just know that they're not going to work for me. But yeah, if you like leather, you might, you might like this one. So that is Paradise Moon. reaction to thinking about that like does it the thought of an infinite sky just make you feel so good that just makes me so happy like something about the sky is just like my soul the day sky the night sky is a little scary to me because I'm a little scared of the dark to be honest but um the day sky it's like that beautiful sky blue Oh, it's just in the sun. That's just like... Anyway, so I'm like, I have high hopes for this one. We'll, we'll see what it smells like. I'm thinking maybe something a little bit floral or citrus, like a little bit lighter. Because quite a few of these have been a little bit um, more like beast note if that makes any sense. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. I was thinking more like a day sky. This to me is like a sunset. I feel like there's definitely something amber in here, whether it's amber or a resin or... But yeah, it's like a warm, touch spicy, ambery. There's a touch of something sweet, probably either a fruit or a floral. And I can't really tell you more than that, so let's look at the notes. Okay, so we have top note of Sichuan pepper. And yeah, there is definitely some spiciness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a spiciness to it. And then middle note, we have Madagascar vanilla. Base note, we have leatherwood, which I think that's a floral. I'm going to click on it, but I'm guessing if it's called Leatherwood, I'm guessing it might have kind of a deep smell. Okay, I just googled it and it says um, it has a, so these are like white flowers, really pretty flowers, um, and that they kind of have a honey scent. It says a heady mix of tobacco spice and woods which is sultry and intoxicating so yeah kind of maybe like labdanum or something yeah so i definitely am getting that from this fragrance um yeah it's just kind of like a spicy ambery vanilla is mostly what i'm getting like mostly like a spicy amber is mostly what i'm getting um this is not something I would wear personally. It's too... I don't tend to like amber unless it's a subtle, airy, like fresh or musky or white amber. Um, so yeah, this is for me a little bit too like... It kind of... It, 
It smells like spicy dripping honey, kind of. <laughs> it's too much for me, definitely too much to wear. Um, but yeah, so definitely a bit unique. So that is Infinite Sky. Not what I was en envisioning. Um, yeah, so that is all of these, all of these fragrances. So I'll tell you guys what I think my top three are. I actually think that I'm going to pull, one of them I'm going to pull is Tender Light, which is funny because I didn't keep the mini I had of this in the past and maybe I won't keep it again. But it's really nice. It's fairly unique. It's got a beautiful tea note and I don't always go for a tea note, but I really like it in this and it's got iris, which makes it very cozy and nice and just mm, it's really nice so tender light is definitely one of my favorites and then what was it was it dream dusk or radiant mirage okay so i just like took like two minutes to myself to like get this all sorted but yeah my i, I i'm gonna say top four which is half of them but top four are in no particular order and I haven't even worn these yet but top four tender light which I told, just told you about also secondly or no particular order dream desk this was the floral one this was the only one that came across to me as actually floral obviously there was floral notes in quite a few of the other ones but none of them were like floral floral this one is but it's a very soft it's a very soft, dewy, fresh, delicate floral, so it's nice. It's probably not something I would ever buy a bottle of, but it's pretty. Um, and then there's Radiant Mirage. This was the one that was patchouli dominant. Um, yeah, patchouli, sandalwood, and jasmine. And honestly, I don't really, I don't really get much jasmine. I mainly get like a soft sandalwoody patchouli. So I'm excited to try this one. And then um, the last one to mention that I like is, um, or it's like, do I? I don't know. I think I do. I don't know if I'll like it on me though, is the Blushing Sands. And this one is the Vetiver Pink Pepper and Musk. And I just smelled it again. And especially on the dry down, I do get more, a little bit more of the pink pepper coming through. It's very subtle, but this comes through as very vintage to me. This comes through as vintage, but in a way that I think I might like. Um, I cannot even explain why, but it just smells vintage to me. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be trying this one out and letting y'all know what I think of it. Okay, everybody, so that is my review of the Estee Lauder Luxury Collection Small Wonders mini set. I hope you enjoyed. That was fun for me. It's always fun to smell new fragrances. Um, I enjoyed spending time with all of you. I hope you take care. Um, what do I want to say? I hope you genuinely feel some inspiration to follow your heart and just know that your own inner guidance and what matters to you and what you feel is super, super important. And to me, in my opinion, it's so important for creating the world that you want to create. Okay. All right. I'll leave you with that. And I hope you all take care and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.